Thank you, Laura. Now, this month, record numbers of people are taking part in Veganuary, a movement to stop using or eating any animal products for January. Veganuary's organisers argue a plant-based diet is good for your health, reduces animal suffering and helps the environment. And with inflation pushing up prices of meat and alcohol, there's a chance giving up both could save you some money. Well, Vanessa Sturman is pl a plant-based health coach and speaker and founded Energize and Thrive Plant-Based. Vanessa, many thanks for joining us. What is driving record numbers of people to join Veganuary? Yeah, so I think it's a lot of things. So first of all, the accessibility of vegan and plant-based food has really, really gone up. Um, so in the supermarkets, you can find much more vegan burgers, vegan sausages, vegan pizza. But people are also finding out how good this is for your health to eat really great plant-based whole food. So for people to understand that eating a bean stew or a chickpea curry is going to be better for your health than a beef stew or a chicken curry as well as the environmental side of it that is much better for our environment, water usage, and also much better for the animals uh, and a much more compassionate way of eating. Mm. I mean, in the past, people who are vegans have just, some of them existed on, you know, chips and bread. <laughs> um, that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a danger there, isn't it? Well, if you are not looking enough at having a really, truly balanced meal, then, then absolutely. But I'd argue that that's true for any diet, that we can do that in an unhealthy way. It's very important that whoever we are to have a really great, healthy diet, good energy. We're looking at what's on our plate and saying, you know, do I have some brilliant protein? Do I have some complex carbs and lots of vegetables? Uh, that's really important to have a bit of consciousness around that. So if one is considering signing up for Veganuary, what are some top tips? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, I'd say get stocked up in your kitchen with some real staples for cooking. And this is important anyway, if you want to be healthy. So lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, whole grains like brown rice, lots of beans and lentils and tins of tomatoes. I would say enjoy yourself is a really important one. So think about what are your favorite foods? If your favorite food or cuisine is uh, Indian or Vietnamese, make sure you go and find a fantastic restaurant that serves those and look up recipes around those as well. Um, I'd also say, you know, do a little bit of planning, you know, find some fantastic recipes, think ahead a bit as well. So make sure that you're not rushing around and not got anything to have for breakfast, that you've looked up a great chia seed pudding or something like that with fruit. And I'd also say, don't put yourself under too much pressure. You know, if you can't do 100% vegan or plant-based, it doesn't matter. You're going to be having benefits for your health, the environment, the animals. Even if you just have you know, half your time vegan or plant-based, it's all going to help. So don't put pressure on yourself and just have fun. And is bulk cooking quite an important part of this? I think it is really important. I think this is great advice for anyone just getting more healthy. The more we bulk cook, we save time and we all know that our time is money. You know, make, you know, two times the amount. Even if you're making uh, a mushroom lasagna or something, make two lasagnas. You could put one in the freezer and cook it another time, for example. And you could also take that out as a meal for the next day. So take it to work and you save on the costs of buying lunch out. Mm, I really worry about labelling. I think that sometimes we really need to scrutinise what's on there because although the meat may have been taken out, sometimes some horrible things have been put in. So I think what's important to remember is that processed food is a bit of a food problem as opposed to a, a vegan or plant-based problem. Um, mostly, yes, what is more healthy for our diet is to have whole food. So wherever you can be using um, full fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, that is going to be much more healthy for you than buying processed. But in the end, what I'd say is if you need a bit of convenience, process can be really helpful and really think about what else is going on your plate. So if you were to just have um, a vegan sausage sandwich and bread for dinner, I would say, well, that's not very balanced. Please think about getting sweet potato on there, lots of vegetables, maybe some guacamole, really make that a balanced meal. But if you need that bit of convenience, it's absolutely there. And what about carbs? I mean, traditionally at this time of year, many people swear off them. 
Yeah, so I think, again, it's all in balance. So carbs are really, really good for us. And actually, there's a lot of people who go very low carb uh, and then really get hungry, struggle with their diet and weight and go back to an unhealthy way of eating. Carbs are really important for energy. Uh, carbs, you know, if you're talking about whole grains um, and root vegetables, these are really important. They're also really important for our gut health, our energy and nutrients. So we need those, but we need them in balance. We need to make sure we've got lots of great protein with that. So that might be tofu or tempeh and beans and lots of vegetables and also some good fats. It's when we have too many of something and out of balance or too much refined carbs that we might struggle with our health, energy and our weight. And so for people who are considering going vegan for the month or perhaps for, for as long as possible forever, yeah. uh, do they need uh, vitamin supplements? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So one thing to know, I think vitamin supplements are really good, whatever diet you're on, because our soil is a lot more degraded than it was. But if you are going vegan, it is very important to take B12. Now, actually, the soil has very little B12 and many animals are actually given B12, which is how it often ends up in the meat. Um, but do take B12 because you're not going to be getting enough of that. So that is important. But taking supplements can be great anyway, because as a nation, we can be quite depleted because of our diets, but also because the soil is just not where it was 60 years ago. Vanessa, thank you very much indeed. Uh, and that, that uh, was uh, Vanessa Sturman speaking to us there from Energize and Thrive uh, Plant Based. Uh, you're listening to The Briefing on Monocle 24.